Today on Cabo Bay in LA, we start a week-long series on unusual Filipino jobs. I say unusual because a lot of our parents want us to be doctors or nurses or, or lawyers or, you know, even in accounting. But uh, there are Filipinos in different other industries, and these industries are also good for you to consider if you are, um, you know, trying to find your way in this world or if you are a parent, we want to... Uh, actually talk to you and let your kids, you know, go. Let your kids uh, explore what they want to be or what you, what they want to be in in life and where they want to be. And that's what we're talking about today on the show, Public Relations. Is it really that unusual, uh, Rembrandt? Unusual for Filipinos or unusual, period? Unusual for Filipinos. Yes. I mean, there's not that many of us. Um, you know, you've been to one of the groups called FHM and PIE and all these other Filipino groups, and they're very rare. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of Filipinos in entertainment, I believe, but as far as publicists, I can count them on, on one hand. Why do you think that is? Is this such a difficult industry to be in? Um, it is a difficult industry to be in, but it's more so of a difficult industry to be in if you're a Filipino. Why? Because that support system that you really want mm -hmm. isn't always there for you because there's so much more support for their kids to be in the medical field because right. they see the money coming in right. and as I've always said you know like for example my parents they they're not always so supportive of what I do because they don't see that money coming in as fast as they would see it in the right we'll field. get to that in just a little while Rembrandt you know is there such a thing as being Filipino that hinders us from being in PR because you mentioned earlier we Filipinos are very thick skin, uh, thin skinned actually right. yung sinasabi nila balat si buyas madali tayong yeah. ma-offend yeah. and in PR you can't be like that right? No you have to have a super thick skin um, and you have to have a lot of tenacity and you have a lot of patience and I think the last thing you need is obviously a big Rolodex. Uh, it's all about relationships in this town right. and so if you have those relationships you can really really succeed. If you don't then you're going to be dead in the water. Do you, uh, is there a course that you take for that? Is there a major in college that you need to take or? You, there are courses and uh, majors. Of, you can take a business major or a communication is always good too. Public, public um, as far as public relations go, it's good to know a lot of the different segments in marketing because public relations is a part of marketing, um, and that just increases your your knowledge in public relations. So you learn as you go, uh, Rembrandt? Well, I learned as I go because obviously I didn't major in public relations. Yeah. I didn't major in marketing or any of that stuff, so I had to learn on the job. Mm -hmm. And so when I started the company in 2002 is the day I learned all about PR. See, but the thing is, I would imagine that in PR, if you make mistakes, those are very costly mistakes because it's not mistakes that you suffer, it's your clients who suffer. Any major mistakes? Right. Um, at this time, Thankfully, no. Okay. I haven't had any major mistakes, mm -hmm. and, and it's kind of Miss Universe question. Uh, question okay. no, no major, well, major mistake. mistake. Okay, so yeah. none for now. Well, how about you? You started well, in 2002. I've been in the business for 10 years, yeah. and so obviously I can say that there's been tiny, tiny mistakes. No major, but major. nothing major. <laughs> I mean. God forbid that there'd be a major mistake. I don't think I'd be in business because mm -hmm. those major mistakes can really affect your business overall. Right. And not, no major mistakes, but I guess major problems. And you mentioned that earlier, Irish. Your parents, the support system. You don't, parents, because parents, they want us to be doctors or lawyers because yeah. stable mm -hmm. ang income. Right. How uh, profitable is a career in PR? Um, when you put your you put your red, your hand, your head in correctly and you just feel positive about it, then the profit is going to be huge. How do you earn from this? Well, how do you earn? Most of our clients are on retainer, and then our project clients pay just a project fee. Mm -hmm. So um, just to give EFG uh, as an example, EFG makes multi-millions of dollars. Mm -hmm. So that multi-million dollars doesn't actually go into my pocket, right. but I can honestly say that I make more money than my doctor friends or my lawyer friends. Wow, ayan, makinig kayo mga parents. And so now you're showing your parents because they cried when you told them that you were go going to leave your job. Yeah, so at the time I was working as a producer at e Entertainment Television, and they're like, oh, that's so amazing. You're working for a TV network. Right. We love it. We see your name on the credits. Yeah. And then I told them, and then my mom actually cried. She called me crying and said, like, I don't understand. You've only been there for two and a half years. Why don't you stay there for 10 years? And I'm mm -hmm. like, because there's a glass ceiling here, Mom. I don't want to stay in a company that has a glass ceiling. And they didn't get it at the time, mm -hmm. even though my mom's an entrepreneur mm -hmm. and my dad is sort of an entrepreneur. So it didn't make sense that they were both entrepreneurs, but 
They don't want their own son right. to be an entrepreneur. So now they're happy. Your parents, not yet. Not yet. No, yeah. they're both in the medical field, so oh. they, they're they so strong-minded in it. Um, as soon as I start bringing in the bigger dollar signs, then, right. of course, they're going to start giving me the blessing. You guys should talk then. You yes. should talk to Rembrandt. <laughs> but, Iris, um, what made you, if you have that, both parents in the medical field, you have that influence growing up, but what made you want to pursue a career in PR? I've always been... Um, an energetic, out-of-the-box person, and I, I never took my culture into, um, it never was more, it wasn't a, um, an advocate for me, I guess you can say. Uh, I've always loved speaking to people, meeting other people, selling things, so mm -hmm. that's why I got into PR. I, I love representing something that is good, mm -hmm. and that's the reason why. Very quickly, yes or no, bad press is equal to good press is the same as press? No. No. Bad press is bad press. Bad press is bad press. And it's never good? No. All right. Sometimes it can be, I would have to say. That should be for another show, perhaps. <laughs> yeah, but thank you so much for joining yeah. us today on the show. Show more power. Thank you. I hope they were able to inspire you guys to get into PR. You know, we're large in number, but we need to get into these little sectors, these industries, in order for other people to experience our class out as a Filipino community, as a Filipino people. Thank you. We'll Thank be you. back for one more segment. AJ Raphael on Cabo Bay and LA. Don't go away.